Kobzars were itinerant Ukrainian folk musicians who sung dumas and folk songs to their own accompaniment of kobza, bandura, or lira. The 12th Archaeological Congress was held in Kharkiv, now in Ukraine, then part of the Russian Empire. During its preparation, the committee discussed a letter from Russian ethnographer V. Sevalod Miller with the suggestion to using recently invented graphophone, Alexander Bell's version of phonograph, which used wax-coated cylinders. Other people came with the same suggestion, both during the preparation and the sessions of the Congress. A team of HNAT Kotkovic, musicologist, banjurist, engineer, and ethnographer, Oleksandr Borode, engineer and banjurist, and Opana Slastian, artist and ethnographer, have eventually taken the job. The first records were taken for Dumas of the noted Kobzar Mikhailo Kravkenko. However due to the conflict between Borode and Kotkovic their work stopped in 1904. The work was restarted by the initiative Kvitka family, Kliment Kvitka and poet Lijaya Ukrainka, who put their money into the project. In later times there were attempts to recast the phonograph records by tape recording the phonograph playback. With the breakthroughs in non-destructive reading of wax cylinders, there were renewed attempts. In 2013, a member of the Wikimedia Ukraine team Yuri Bulka and folklorist Irina Dobgolyuk, who did research on Kolesa S collection, used a Wikimedia grant to digitize 56 cylinders and make the records available under the Creative Commons license. In 1910 and 1913 Kolesa published two books of music deciphered from the collected phonograms.